Hello guys, my name is Karan Patel. In this video, I will show you how you can diagnose COVID-19 from chest x-rays. Let's move on a screen. So guys, open Jupyter Notebook. I In this code, I diagnose COVID-19 by radiological system, which is the x-ray. Because now currently we have a data of only x-ray images, not CT images. So we are using in this video x-ray images. Okay, so first of all, these are the libraries that we have to install in our Python. So if you if you find if you have any kind of error like uh, no module name CV2, no module name OS, no module name TensorFlow, then just write this command uh, pip install whatever the module name. Okay, and if you still have an error, then mention it in the comment section. I will solve it. Okay, so. Now data exploration, I collected data of a COVID-19 in this GitHub link, I, which is which you get in a description below. Okay, so in a COVID, in a COVID chest X-ray data set, you file you find this amount of images. If you want to show it, open it on a GitHub, and you will see this is a COVID-19 patient's image. Okay, so this is talk about only COVID-19 people uh, to run the deep learning model. We need us always a data set from a false and negative, false and positive side. Sorry. So this is the COVID-19 positive side. If we want the normal person to learn how the X-ray images of a normal person and how the COVID-19 X-ray images look like. So for normal person X-ray, I use this data set which this two data set are freely available on a github and kegel okay so kegel is not providing a normal chest data set but uh, but it provide a chest x-ray images of pneumonia but uh, in the pneumonia data set uh, they mention that these patients are uh, normal and from we separate this class and we combine normal and covid-19 data set so i hope you are getting clear with the data set Okay, so let me show you the data set. Diagnosis. Here data set, you find two folder COVID. This all are the COVID-19 suspected X-ray. Okay, and a data set is normal. You find all the normal data sets, which I download from Kegel. Okay, so I hope you are clear with that logic, like how the user develop the data set of COVID-19 okay so what about the uh, metadata set so metadata set is data set that uh, info uh, that contain all the information about the images and uh, where we get from images that like uh, COVID-19 suspected people uh, x-rays are getting from a different research papers which uh, which were published all across all over the world so like first run this code uh, write the name of libraries as I as I wrote and uh, the shift enter you will get output all libraries are imported okay so after that the data exploration process happen. okay so in this step we will get the information about uh, how when and where we get the covid 19 suspected x-rays okay so if you want more clear idea about so then this is the meta data sheet okay here you found patient id offset sex age findings Findings like this is COVID-19 X-rays, COVID-19 X-rays, the SARS X-rays, COVID-19 X-rays. Okay, uh, in a survival, what are the survival rates? Like uh, SARS has an N, like the percent in this type of X-rays is death. This type of X-rays, death, surviving rate. Okay, modality. What is the modality? What is the view? Of x-ray what is the date of x-ray what is the location like uh, it's a uh, Washington 
China, Canada. Uh, what is the file name of that? Like, if uh, let me clear one thing. Like, this is the file name. If you find this file name, copy and just paste it. Where is the data? Okay, COVID 19 and just paste data here. You will find this file. Okay. So this meta sheet is information about information about the COVID-19 X-ray images. Okay, so I hope you are clear with metadata sheet. Okay, so here I read uh, that metadata sheet in Python. So write this syntax like uh, this is printing loading data. Okay, panda dot set option is uh, setting your maximum rows. Like if you if you do not uh, set this options, Python will print your limited limited. So panda dot read underscore csv is the syntax for reading csv file in Python. Covid dot head is a print that head like uh, first four columns and rows of that csv file. Okay, so just run this code and you will find this like patient ID two 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 four which is mentioned in here like 22224 okay so this information and this information are same but this information present in display in a python okay so from this data set we require some specific columns like uh, what are the findings of like uh, these images are covid suspected SARS suspected or what what is the view of x-ray what is the modality like x-ray images ct images or mri images what is the location like location is not important so i drop this column okay so survival now uh, i think age is a matter for covid netting so i write age okay so covid data frame uh, so what this line do it's just present just print finding values modality and survival and age columns of covid 19 data okay so just run this and you will find finding views modality survival and age okay so now we had a clear idea like uh, if patient uh, patient id 0 has a covid 19 finding view pa x-ray modality survival yes and age 65 okay so uh, this is a clear idea about how you can read your python or metadata set in a covid 19 okay so uh, now we are going to the loading image data set in this you write your path of where you set the data set mention like always be in a mind like data set these libraries and which path you declare here is always be same okay so click on this data set this folder and this path has to be same otherwise you will find error okay define two empty class x and y reading all the images like for path list path list means all the data covid 19 and normal y so in a y variable we store the image label and in x variable we store images okay so images is equal to cv dotted I am read. I am read is for to read the image. See, uh, CVT dot CVT color means to convert BRG images to RGB. Okay, to image resize, we use CV2 dot resize. We resize the images, all images into 512, 512 okay so we append this all images in x and append all images into y normalize the image we don't need to normalize the label 
obviously so we don't divide y by 255 variable what is the length uh, this two syntax is uh, print the length of x and y if you want then you can print the y variable so print just right here print y capital y okay so you you, you will find the list of labels like the first it uh, read the section of covid 19 and after that it reads normal like here you go covid 19 normal 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 to find what is the length of uh, both classes and it's 3 138 138 okay so uh, if you change in a, any syntax please make sure your x and y variable should be of a same length Splitting data into the x train y train x taste y taste after that we split train data into the validation data like x train x validate y train y validate okay uh, for that we use a train taste and split data from sklm which is from here you would find the syntax here okay from sklm model dot selection you import trains taste and split After the splitting the data, train taste and x validate and validation, we just go on our data augmentation. To data augmentate, use this. We are using a tensorflow.krs.preprocessing images, image data generator. If you don't use this uh, data augmentation, you will find the error like no dimension matches okay after that run this two cells this one too okay here is the heart of a deep learning this is the cnn architecture we use vgg16 model if you beginner and you are just uh, making a model like more simple and more accurate uh, not more accurate because these models whenever you are rising your con 2 d batch normalization max pooling and dropout layers you are rising your accuracy the more number of these layers more number of accuracy okay so define this model run could just go through it if you are a beginner you are not understanding but uh, i will make sure you that uh, in a previous or in a uh, future lectures i will cover this too Okay, so run this. This is the functions that is uh, that's why it run very fast. Okay, so this is the function like COVID model, and uh, here we are importing this function like model is equal to COVID underscore model. Okay, just uh, run this too. Shift enter, and you will find this model then and all parameters oh uh, okay this is the warning if you are using a tensorflow uh, older version then it will occur okay it's, it's running okay I set five epochs if you want then you can choose 100 200 tens the, like more number of epochs you get more number of accuracy but for just a uh, uh, making the video tutorial shorter, I just use five epochs. Okay, after the each end of epoch, you get loss, accuracy, validation, validation loss, and validation accuracy. This is epoch number two from five. 
we also set the batch size here batch size 8 if uh, set batch size uh, whatever you want but i recommended it because here because uh, when we are dealing with uh, like thousands and uh, hundreds of images like in that case you uh, increase your batch size like 32 132 225 i think we are done with our box so this is our final uh, validation accuracy it's 50 percent which is very less because uh, we use just uh, 132 images which is not for deep learning it's good okay so accuracy is pretty good 75 percent validation loss is 83 and uh, loss is 57 okay so further we are going with a performance evaluation in that uh, we are uh, printing the conclusion confusion matrix it's just for not it's confusing but it's uh give us a validation accuracy and false negative false true 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 and true negative okay so just run this code this uh if you if you are not changing variable in a any kind of deep learning so this code remains same for all mostly all kind of neural network like whatever you print and whatever define your variable here is as same as like if you are structuring your own own neural network this code remains same but make sure your variable is same like this like just go through it, uh, this detail uh, you will find the more accuracy and loss and accuracy precision recall f and score and support okay so this is uh, done for uh, what we are train and run our neural network okay so if you have any kind of doubt in deep learning solution just mention it in a comment section okay so uh, up to this code you will find you get this code from any kind of uh, blog and all but i made this code uh, i made this code like this this code for importing image like i download any random image of covid 19 with, uh, with uh, let me find this code okay okay covid 19 chest okay this is the this is the uh, random image that i download this is not including in data set and we taste this image to our neural network let's see how it's work to read this image we have to click go on a jupyter notebook okay so here it is jupyter notebook write this code like i know it's lengthy but if you want to read your own uh, image to taste like you have to do this you have to write this code import this libraries okay so we have to do this uh, for uh, to read this image because we have to set the parameters like uh, we have to reshape it from this dimension we have to add uh, tensor to reshape and then we have to then we can give this that image to models okay so first of all import these libraries write this uh, syntax because no need to i i don't need to explain because i explained it earlier okay so here i write this image random.covid19.jpeg which is mentioned which is in my folder here which is, uh, this image is very random i download from internet you can taste also okay so i just uh, try for covid19 so i read this command convert this rgb to vgr prg to rgb sorry reshape it in a 5112 512 dimension convert image into the array reshape it to the tensor unit rescale it like it's a uh, rescale by one when which is also known as a normalization okay then feed this image this image into this like model.predict what is model.predict model.predict is here 
here we define our model model is equal to covid 90 and covid 90 model is equal to this okay so just like uh, i am telling you how the data scientist analysis the code and how they build code okay so run this section and we are done with our tutorial and uh, okay you get this okay so now the i can say that it 82 percent covid 19 suspected people of x-ray and 1.75 is normal person x-ray so whatever image you are imported here is a random covid 19 i downloaded from internet and send, feed it to the neural network it will predict 82 percent it's covid 19 and what 17 percent is normal people so this from normal result and this result we can conclude that it result can give us a better accuracy okay if you have any kind of doubt in this code please mention it on a comment section i put the all link of data set github code this data set kegel data set even the bloggers blog on that code i will all put this link on our youtube description please check it out that's it for the video guys if you have any doubt please mention it on a comment section thank you i hope you like the video